On this video, thanks to the 3D Cell Explorer, we will show you how to discriminate our measure enemies and cells based on their refractive index. The digital staining panel is the same for all the samples, yeast, bacteria and the contaminated cell culture. On this image, you are introduced to yeast, in this case Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Yeast are unicellular eukaryotic microorganisms from the kingdom of fungi with a typical shape and around 5 micrometers in size. On the left panel is represented the refractive index map in two dimensions. I'm scrolling through the yeast cell in Z to see the 96 focal planes of the image. On the right panel we have the 3D reconstruction as obtained with our software Steve. Under the microscope, yeast appears as individual ovoid or spherical particles, characterized by a specific refractive index range that we decide to digitally color in blue. Here you can mimic bacteria, as all we know are a large and ubiquitous group of unicellular microorganisms, prokaryotes. They are typically only a few micrometers in diameter, and we can have a variety of shapes, ranging from spheres to rods and spirals. Here you can see a plate with an uncontaminated fibroblast reticular cell culture. Are you curious to see what's happened to our culture? Here you go! Yeast, bacteria and mammalian cells are happily sharing the same environment. To be more precise, we did not only get both bacteria and yeast contamination, but we even got two different species of yeast. We can recognize the small, rod-shaped bacteria in red, and two different kinds of yeast, blue and green. 